Hello everyone, this is Stephen Housen, this is Full Time Devils and this is the Transfer Review, the weekly video where you can check out all of the goings on in the transfer window and then move on with your life. And we have got a sign in straight off the bat and that is the one that we've all been absolutely waiting for in it. We, are, we can't wait, we are absolutely shredding with excitement. There are queues round the block as you can see over my shoulder there, waiting to get Lee Grant shirts. Yes, we are signing a third choice goalkeeper from Stoke. My thoughts on it? If we want a third choice goalkeeper, there's someone with Premier League experience, someone who's actually not too bad age aside, it doesn't really matter for a goalkeeper. And the third choice goalkeeper is basically the easiest job in football, isn't it? Really, let's be honest. Because the second choice goalkeeper basically never plays. And that's going to be Romero, obviously the second best goalkeeper in the world. Argentina was nailed on to win the World Cup if he'd have gone with them. Nailed on, absolutely nailed on. They ordered the name of the trophy and everything. I just wonder where it leaves some of the youngsters. Now, I reckon Joel Pereira's very, very, very likely to be going out on loan. That seems to be the vibe, although no one's confirmed that. I think that's the way it's going to go down. So this was confirmed by Craig Norwood, so we all know Craig Norwood is basically... Is he Ed Woodward? Does he know more than Ed Woodward? Where does Craig get his info? Answers on a postcard, usual address. Um, it's a 10 out of 10, isn't it, I guess? Craig Norwood said it. It's happening. Here's a new name for everybody. It's Lucas Vasquez, Real Madrid winger. Is he coming to Manchester United? I don't feel so. This is... Mark are reporting this one, it's been parroted as always by the MEN. Lucas Vasquez, Manchester United. Maybe. Yes, we need wingers, but I don't know. Doesn't feel like something that's about to happen. Doesn't feel like clickbait. I don't know about this, it just feels... Let's give it a 2 out of 10 and see what happens with it. Leonardo Bonucci, this has been reported in a couple of places and I find this transfer mega intriguing. For me, Manchester United need a leader and there's none of those in the club at the moment. We need a soldier, a warrior, a master of the dark arts. People are gonna tell me that I'm faster than him. I don't think that matters. I think this is a guy that would come in and massively galvanize that Manchester United defense. This is a guy that lives and breathes defending. He can also play a ball as well. He's an excellent footballer. It's not been a great season for him at Milan. It wasn't a great season for Milan, truth be told. I don't know if you can pin that all on him. I think with a bit more of an energetic defense around him, I think Benucci could be absolutely fantastic. Now, the two-year competition ban, European competition ban that AC Milan have been subjected to for breaching financial fair play rules is the driver behind this. But there's also a lot of talk that, for family reasons, that Benucci doesn't necessarily want to leave Italy. That seems to be like the major roadblock in this. I do think, though, Manchester United could convince pretty much anybody to move. And if Benucci is looking to move, I don't know if the road back to Juventus is going to be open. It seems like a move abroad is increasingly likely for him unless he wants to drop down the levels. So I would say, let's go get Bonucci because that's the real leader that I could see Manchester United absolutely needing at the centre of our defence. And what an absolute legend of the game, really, that some of these youngers, younguns can learn off. I'd love them at United. It doesn't feel nailed on yet. It feels right in the middle. So let's go right down the middle and give it a 5 out of 10. Another absolute leader, another absolute warrior, another very, very experienced, very top level centre half that I am delighted is being linked with Manchester United is Godin. Now this is a phenomenal centre half. This is the, a, in the exact same mould as Bonucci. And I'm glad that Manchester United are being linked with this sort of player because these are the sort of players for me. Like always, we say there's this list. I think these are players in a mould. Whether it's Bonucci, whether it's Godin, whether it's somebody else that we've not even thought of at the moment. What's weird about this is the little chain. I like Sam, at some at people's person. But Sam, you are the fifth in line in this crazy little shell game that's being played. So people's person, they've quoted 101 goals. 101 goals have quoted Calcio Mercato. Calcio Mercato have been quoted, uh, are quoting the MEN, and the MEN are quoting AS. The problem is, when you go all the way through these reports, reports over there say, reports over here say, reports over there say, we can't find the AS report that they may are quoting. Can you help us find the AS report that is linking Godin to Manchester United? That's been quoted by everybody, I guess, including ourselves now. Um, if you can, bang the link in the comments below, especially if you speak Spanish, because uh, that's going to help us really figure out what's going on with this one. Hang on, aren't we in the chain now? Putting it in here. Doesn't feel like there's a whole lot in it at the moment. I'm going to give it a 3 out of 10. 
But let's wait and see what happens. I'd love either him or Bonucci at United. That'd be mint. I think this is a new name. I'm not sure if it's a new name. Let me know if you've covered this one before. I don't think we have. We might have covered it in tomorrow's transfers today, but certainly not in this video. And that is Rabiot. Now, what's interesting here about Rabiot is look who he's linked to again. It's the old lady from Turin. Every single time United are getting linked to a player, someone's like, throw Juventus in the mix. What? Honestly, what is going on here? What is going on? Why are Juventus being constantly linked to everyone United are being linked to? It's absolutely bullshit some part I just can't figure out which part yet we've also been linked with another midfielder and I think the chances of us signing another midfielder are increasingly unlikely and we'll get to exactly why in a little bit we all know what that one is um, as it stands at the moment Rabiot United not feeling it at all doesn't feel like there's anything concrete in this I'm going to give it a 1 out of 10 Fekir time Fekir Fridays or Mondays remember that one that didn't go to plan, did it, for the old Liverpool fellas out there? Now, I think he probably still going to end up at Liverpool. But there's another report here today. They've dragged up a quote that says it's a dream move. They're using the quotes from when Anthony Marshall signed for Manchester United three years ago. And they're saying, yeah, this is uh, Fekir's dream move. If you drill down into it, that's not what he's saying. He's saying a club like United. He's not like Manchester United is my dream move. He's not saying that. He's just been like, yeah, this is that. I'm my bit of state at Leon at the moment and work on my game. Blah, blah, blah. The usual standard stuff, right? But it feels like a narrative is being painted, isn't it? It feels like the meeting with the Leon president with Jose Mourinho, which was, they wouldn't be so blatant to conduct transfer business in such a way. I'm sure it was just like uh, people in football are talking and certainly you don't expect Jose Mourinho to be going negotiating transfers on a club's behalf. That's not his job. Um, I'm sure he was just you know, invited as a guest from the Leon president and they was having a chat. Leon are basically trying to now force Liverpool, I think, to either up their bid after they conducted all the interviews and all the rest of that kind of stuff with Fekir and it all got leaked prior to the deal happening so I think they want to just use this as a bit of a way to squeeze a bit more cash out of Liverpool and who can blame them I don't think he's coming to United I'm going to give it a flat zero out of ten uh, I'm very certain he's going to end up at Liverpool uh, eventually or elsewhere but I'm, he's not coming to United United are definitely being used as a pawn to get more money elsewhere for somebody that's my thoughts 25 million slaps on the table, it'd be hard to say no. Kieran Turn is a, a name that I know a lot of United fans would love to see uh, in a United shirt. We've got obviously very well known problems at left back and I think Turney could be a solution for that. I think there's, there's question marks over his actual defensive capabilities because let's be honest, he's not pushed defensively in the Scottish League playing for Celtic. He has a little bit internationally obviously with Scotland, but he's not really generally pushed um, as much as he arguably should be or could be if he came to United. Those are areas of the game that we need to check out. Apart from that, he's very direct, very attacking and very good in the final third and would definitely bring something to Manchester United. But is he coming for us? That's what we all want to know. Now, one of his teammates has been talking to the press and they massively contradict themselves. They're saying he should stay put for another year, another two years. And the way it's been spun by goal in there, they're saying it looks like he's saying he should wait, he should frustrate all of the clubs that are coming to sign him. But then the guy goes and at the end of the, the uh, article, he comes in and goes, but if it was like Manchester United, for example, uh, if they was one of the ones that was putting a bid in, you'd jump at the chance. And he says, this is very interesting. He says, if United was to slap, say, 25 million on the table, I'm sure the club would jump at that. And you go, wait a minute, wait a minute. United can't buy second rate anything, second rate, let alone first rate anything for 50 million at the moment. 25 million seems enormously good business for somebody that got a little bit of Champions League experience, got experience of being a dominant club and being in possession and working in that final third. He's very young, he's got potential resale value. 25 million in today's market is an absolute steal for someone like Kieran Turney. I don't think it's happening. I don't think there's enough talk about him as a player that's coming. But when you're talking about the fees that are rumoured for Sandro and the fees that are rumoured for some of the other people at left back, 25 million seems like an absolute steal. And I would say to United, go get that kid. It's worth a risk at 25 million, which is it's a lot of money at the end of the day. But in the grand scheme of things, in this current transfer market, 25 million is peanuts. Three out of 10 for is it going to happen? Let's keep an eye on this one. Cristiano Ronaldo. Every single summer, we, we've already covered him in tomorrow's transfers today. We've already covered him in a transfer review, but now Portugal have been eliminated. This is decision time now for Ronaldo. Is it or is he going to go on all day like everybody else that's just been eliminated from the World Cup? 
It's an easy article to write, isn't it, ultimately? And the MEN have decided to go with it this time, and there's no substance in it. I don't think there was any substance in it at the start of the window when he was saying, oh, I'm going to make a decision, I've got a big decision to make. This bears no resemblance on whether I would want him at United. Of course I would want him at United. The guy scored 41 goals in 40 games last season. He is phenomenal. And with the trend of a lot of teams moving to two-striker systems, I would love him to partner Lukaku up front. Can you imagine that as a partnership? Absolute fire. But that's not going to happen, is it? It's not going to happen. Just because it had been mint doesn't mean it's going to happen. And probably because it had been mint means it wouldn't be happen. Cristiano Ronaldo, I think he's just going to do what he's done every single summer since about 2011 and just sign a new deal at Real Madrid and then shut up and be happy with it. And United have been used yet again. It makes me laugh when you see like Liverpool players. You know he's not on loan. Yeah, I know he's not on loan. Guy uses every single summer. Every single summer without fail. Ronaldo United, zero out of ten. The Sun have decided to go with what we all know is the just most obvious bit of clickbait that it could possibly be. What they're doing here is they're putting the goal scorer, World Cup, Manchester United, all in a title because it's great for SEO. They're linking Pavard to United after his amazing strike this weekend. And they're saying United are going to have to pay 44 million for him um, and Stuttgart don't want to sell. It's a nonsense article. It's not happening. Zero out of ten. Every time. It's about five times you go back into it and it's just dead. Milinkovic Savage. It's turned into a bit of a saga, isn't it? And today being reported in the Irish Mirror, they're saying United are set to miss out because Barcelona are now interested in the £120 million rated midfielder. They're saying they could offer Lazio a player to sort of soften the ball a little bit. But let's be honest, I think the fee is the reason United are probably going to miss out on him. I don't think it's that we don't want him. I don't think that. I don't think it's the fact that we don't think the player is a good player. We definitely think he's a good player. But there has to be a limit, doesn't there? As we've just seen with AC Milan and them getting done for financial fair play, it still applies to Manchester United. We still have to have some semblance of balance in those books. And we've done a lot of spending recently. I don't think United could justify 120 million on someone like Milinkovic Savic. So yes, have United been snubbed? Probably not. Have United pulled out of a deal that's probably too expensive? Probably the case. Apart from that, I don't know. I don't think it's coming United. It feels definitely like it's going further and further and further away. Two out of ten is what I'm saying. The Mirror are going strong with a bail to United uh, rumour and they're using Mickey Thomas's quotes as the reason to use an article for it. Mickey thinks that uh, Gareth Bale should complete his CV by winning a domestic title. Um, everyone loves Mickey. Mickey's great. I'm not sure he needs to complete his CV though. I think winning a hat full of Champions Leagues is pretty good for anyone's CV. Um, let's talk about the transfer though. Gareth Bale to Manchester United. I could see Gareth Bale. I think again, this is this list. And I think for that right hand side spot, I think Gareth Bale is slated for that right hand side spot. I also think Williams slated for that right hand side spot. Two entirely different footballers, but they're going to fit in that sort of position on the right hand side for us where we definitely need balance. As I said, different sort of style of players, different way of playing the game, but both kind of fit in that hole where United do need to bring a little bit of balance. It just doesn't feel like it's about to go down now. Now, yes, Gareth Bale came out and said those things after the Champions League final. They've had a new manager appointed, and because he speaks English, obviously he's going to stay, according to some newspapers. I don't think it's as simple as that. I think United should be in the hunt. I don't know if we are in the hunt. It doesn't feel like there's a lot in it at the moment. Obviously, Gareth Bale hasn't been in involved in the World Cup, so if you would have thought a deal could have been at least started prior to the World Cup really getting into the deep because what's Ed Woodward doing? Jose Mourinho's on holiday. Surely at this point of a summer, Ed Woodward has got the list of signings that he wants to complete for United and he's on with the negotiating of them. If not, if he's just put his feet up and watching three matches a day like the rest of us, then what is he really doing? Gareth Bale to United, four out of 10 at the moment. That was the end, this is the out. And as usual, there's a load of top players being talked about as leaving Manchester United this week. And the first one that we're gonna talk about is Fellaini. Now, as I told you guys last week, 10 out of 10, he is absolutely going. His contract expired this weekend and I've cleared his house out because I'm a top mate and he's at the World Cup. So I've cleared his house out without him knowing and it's all there ready for him now, just wherever he needs to go and send it, it's there for him. What are you on about? When? No way did it. Marlon Fellaini has signed an extension at Manchester United. 
and look at the excitement on everyone's face. 10 out of 10, he's staying. Okay, Anthony Marshall is going to be a constant figure until he's sold, I imagine, this summer. And uh, last word on football, our talking up Bayern Munich. And we also mentioned earlier on in the video, the MEN are reporting about these not very secret talks that have been taking place, supposedly, with Bayern Munich. Last word on football, also linking him to Bayern Munich and saying that could be a potential destination for Anthony Marshall because United are keen for him to not stay in the Premier League and to be sold abroad. Um, from what I'm hearing, a club, or Mourinho at least, thinks that little of Anthony Marshall that he doesn't actually care if he stays in this country which is mental to me. Uh, I, I am certain he will bite us on the arse wherever and if ever he goes. Um, they also say that Juventus, of course, are in for him, uh, as well as Tottenham. Um, I will not be surprised to see him at either of those three clubs. I will not be surprised to see him absolutely smash it at those three clubs. I feel like Marshall's on his way out. The destination hasn't been settled, I don't think, yet. But I'd be very shocked. It's definitely more likely that he leaves than he stays, I think. So I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. Is another player that I'm resigned to, to losing, and that's Daley Blind. And I think Blinds is a real disappointment because he's such a good, intelligent footballer. I think United are going to make a mistake by losing him. I can understand Jose's preference for those more physical sort of players, but I think you always have time for someone like Daley Blind. Daley Blind could have been a top replacement for Michael Carrick. He's got the ability, like Michael Carrick, to control a game from deep like that. And like Michael Carrick, he ain't winning any 100 metre races. I think he's going to go back to Ajax. He's been linked with a move back to Ajax. His, his old man Danny is still on the board at Ajax. And they reckon he's going to be part of negotiating a deal to bring him back to Ajax, uh, where we bought him from. Ah, it's a shame. It could have been so much more than this. He was, uh, he was a decent player when we had him. Didn't get enough consecutive games and, and somehow made Smalling look like a world-class centre-half when he played alongside him. I mean, that's like magic. Um, but I do think he's going to be going. I'll give it, give it an 8 out of 10. I do think uh, Daly is going to be on his way. Uh, and I'm a bit sad about that. Here we go, let's have a look at the bullshit go then and let's see what won this week. And I would say, unfortunately, it's not the, the worst signing to ever happen, is it? I mean, you couldn't make it up. It does definitely feel like United are signing, you know, Stokes reserve goalkeeper feels like bullshit bingo, but it's happened. Oh, it's happening. So there you go, that's this week's winner. If you want to get involved in bullshit bingo, then tweet the hashtag BS bingo to myself or to Full Time Devils with your made up transfer reports, and we'll see if they happen or if they, uh, if they materialize in somewhere like the Metro. Thanks to everybody who's watched. That's us done for today. If you want more transfer news, then 11 o'clock every weekday night, you can come and join us on tomorrow's transfers today. Make sure to hit that like button. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. And I'm out of here. Laters.